Hello my loves and welcome back to another mukbang video. I miss you guys so so much. I know I haven't been on my channel for a while. It's my voice. It like, it's coming back very 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 slowly and it's driving me crazy. I've tried to drink teas, um, take ibuprofen, whatever to like make it come back faster but it's like not, no. I was really really sick. I had a really bad cough for about a week and a half and then my voice just decided to not work with me still. So this is what we're dealing with but I, th the chicken sandwich is back. I haven't tried it. I'm so excited. It smells delicious and I decided to get three of them because it's worth the wait. I mean, well not worth the wait but like if it's, if, if, if I'm waiting that long to get it, I might as well get three. <laughs> Okay, 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 oh my, y'all get me. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys, if you guys have tried the sandwich yet and if you guys like it. I'm really excited to try it out. I got some Cajun fries. I've got some biscuits in the back. I did order some coleslaw. And then I do have the seafood combo, which is shrimp, battered shrimp with some fries and then another biscuit, which is what it is. And then I have some of the, the red sauce that you dip it in. I don't know what it's called. Cocktail sauce. There you go. Okay. And then, of course, a Dr. Pepper to go with this whole thing. Guys, I am so sorry about my voice. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I wish, I wish there was a magical solution that I can get with it now. But let's dig in <laughs> to the sandwich. Which I'm really excited to try out. Let me clear out my throat a little bit. So good. Okay, let's start off with a couple of fries. Mm. Let's start off with Miss Thickness. And I want to show you guys what she looks like. It's a spicy chicken sandwich with the sauce and it has pickles in it. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Alright guys, big bite, let's do this. <clears throat> this is good. I think it's the sauce. I don't know. It's like crunchy and the and the bread is like buttery and the sauce is like has like a ting to it. Whoa. That's really good. It literally melts right in your mouth. So good.
This is what the shrimp look like. They're super tiny. I'm gonna dip it inside. It's so good. It melts right in your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna open up some honey and put it on my biscuit. So tell me, what has everybody been up to? Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Are you guys ready for Christmas? Has anyone put up their Christmas stuff yet? I'm <clears throat> super tempted to, to be honest with you. Christmas just makes me so happy. Christmas makes me so happy and I think I mean I was hearing on the radio the other day I hope my voice doesn't bother anybody by the way I know it sounds really bad but um, I was hearing that studies show that like having your Christmas decorations brings down stress levels and I really do believe that because I feel like Christmas is a very happy time where you are very giving, like you, you, you give to make someone happy and just like all, and just like seeing all the decorations and like the lights and the colors just, and the sense of pine just bring like a very positive, happy energy. So I know last year I did put up my tree before, <laughs> before Thanksgiving and I loved it. Loved it. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have put up your Christmas decorations yet. If you have, then that will encourage me to put mine up pretty soon. <laughs> so, <coughs> so yeah, guys. What are you guys eating with me? I'd like to ask that. Are you guys eating with me? Are you guys just watching me? This is officially going to be my mukbang setup background where I will be at every time I film a mukbang. 
it's literally perfect. This whole setup here is perfect. <laughs> I am 100% loving my new apartment. Love everything about it. But some weird things have been happening here. It might, it might be haunted. I'm not like, 100% on it, yep. And I'll tell you why. I mean, only a couple of things have happened to me, you know? Maybe it's like, it's, it's explainable, you know? So, but first, let's take a bite out of this number two chicken sandwich. Let me turn it around and give you guys that goodness look. Check that out. Check that out. This time I'm just gonna bite it with the pickle. <coughs> okay. So, do you guys like my hat, by the way? I don't know if you guys probably can't see it because I'm up here, but it has like a little puffy thing up here. I got it at Burlington Coal Factory a long time ago. Okay, so, I got home from, no, the first time was on one of my days off you know we me and Valerie had gotten ready for bed already in bed sorry if you guys could hear the footsteps like they literally run around upstairs in my sister's my sister-in-law's house like horses okay um so you might hear the running around with the kids upstairs but we're getting tucked in bed you know we're tucked in bed and I if you guys know me if you guys don't know me you guys, I have to sleep with some type of like a light on. Not a bright light. It has to be like a very dim light. And I sleep with my uh, bedroom door open and I leave the light on top of the stove on. So it's not like very bright and it's not like too dim. It's just perfect. And so I'm laying in bed ready to go to sleep and... So, you know, sometimes, some like, you're ready to go to sleep, but something tells you to open up your eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Does that happen to anybody? Or just me? So, I open up my eyes, and I see. I know when a light flickers, and, like, the difference between some, when somebody, like, walks across the light, and, like, the light kind of, like, it, like, dims down and it goes back to, you guys know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't fully turn off, but, like, it just kind of, like, like, somebody walks by it. That's what it was like, and I was kind of like, what the heck? And I, I just needed to get up and, like, see if, like, I don't know, there was, like, a problem with it or something. And I look, and then, like, the stove, the stove has the timer on it, like, the curtain time on it. But you guys know that it also has a timer on it. Well, the timer was on. Like, really, really weird and creepy. It creeped me out. It it just sent a feeling of creepiness down my spine. I don't know, you know? But maybe the power went off and back on all of a sudden. But then but then if it would have done that, then it would have reset my entire time. But it didn't do that. Like the only thing that was like different was that the timer was on. Like the one that you put on when like you put your food in there for 15 minutes only and you don't want to forget. So you put a timer on so like the alarm goes off. That's what was on. The time, the current time had not changed.
So I was really weirded out by it. But I was like, you know what? There has to be an explanation to this, you know? Maybe it was the power. Went back to sleep, okay? Um, then... Okay. So at the dollar store, I bought, like, this thing you put around your knob with, like, little bells hanging from it for Halloween. It's black and orange, and I hang it on my doorknob. So, like, every time somebody comes in, like, the little bells ring. Like, they kind of, like, shim, you know? You could hear it, like, every time somebody comes in, like, the bells will ring. And so, that day, I went to go drop Valerie off to school. And I came back because it was a day that I had gone off of work. So I was ready to come home and knock out until, you know, I have to go pick up Valerie for school. And, so, Chapo sleeps with me uh, whenever I get home from work. He, he'll go straight into the bedroom with me and stay there with me until I wake up, literally. Okay, so that's what we did. We were in bed, ready to go to sleep. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, mind you, there's no one else in my apartment with me, just me. Valerie's in school. The little bells, they go, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> right? And I'm like, Okay, and I'm like, no way, no way. And I check, I check to see if like Chapo's on my feet. He is. He's right there, laying down. And I'm like, what? What the heck? This really did freak me out because they're they're just like hanging there. There's no way they can make that noise unless somebody walked to the door. But it sounded like somebody just tapped them and they went all like, oh my, it's so weird. Even, it even gives me goosebumps, okay? But maybe, maybe we could explain it by saying like, well, maybe they were, I don't know, maybe not, it's not, it couldn't be, couldn't have been the wind. I mean, you could say it's the wind, but like my windows are closed. Like it's really cold outside. I don't keep my windows open. Um, maybe they were tied up and they untangled randomly. You know, maybe that could have been the case. So I don't know guys, I really hope it's not haunted. I even asked my sister-in-law yesterday, I'm like, I'm like, can I ask you a serious question? Is it haunted downstairs? <laughs> and then I told her what happened to me. She's like, no girl, nobody has ever said anything. I've never heard anything. I'm like, yeah, you know what, you're right. There has to be a logical explanation to, like, why the little bells ring by themselves and, like, why the stove was set to timer and why, like, the light flickered like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But. But. Let's take a call. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it is? And I don't get, I don't get like a, a scared feeling or anything like that at all. Like I don't get like a nervous or 
fighting feeling is like I feel normal. I don't feel like there's bad energy in here at all. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think it is. And I really want to buy some sage and just like walk around with it in the house because like I haven't done that. I know they say that like every time you move in somewhere new, like have it blessed or blessed, right? You, you get it blessed. So like all the bad energy leaves from like the past owner, like people who lived here or something. I don't know. Gets rid of like the bad energy. Oh. All right, guys, we're, I'm going to take one more bite for everyone. If you have not tried the sandwich, you have to try it. I recommend it. 1,000%. I didn't think it was going to be that great. To be honest with you, I literally was like, it's too, like, they're hyping it too much, but it's really good. Like, it's really, really good. Alright guys, that is it for this video. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am sorry again for my voice. I really, I, I, like, <clears throat> I'm trying to be as clear as I possibly can. Um, I apologize for, like, the horsiness and, like, the creakiness of my voice, but this is the best I can do and I just like don't want to leave my channel without giving you guys content A lot of you guys have been reaching out to me been like Are you okay? Are you feeling better? Uh, you know like we missed your videos and thank you so much for all your comments and like reaching out to me I really really appreciate you guys and I miss you guys so much So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not yet been subscribed to my channel don't forget to like this video for more videos like this. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys again very soon on my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.